Hello YouTube, my name is Trey. Welcome to what I can um messed that up. Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to what can I change? Uh we're talking about Bronny James right now. And I know everybody has their perspective on it, but I just want to watch another interesting video. I want you guys to check it out. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know when the shift began to happen, but since when as a society did we start lacking empathy for other people? Like, why is it that whenever tragedy strikes, the first thing that come to y'all mind is to do all the I told you so's and conspiracy theories? Like, that shit ain't weird to y'all. Like, bro, I can't even get a get well soon or get condolences sent to my family. Whether it's a health condition, whether it's a school shooting, whether it's a kidnapping, a natural disaster, the first thing y'all go to is, well, the government, bro, that shit is weird. At least send condolences to the family first. At least, you know, make sure somebody good before you start spewing all of this. Now, I get it. Some of y'all believe that the government been trying to kill us for years. And history shows they not the ones to be trusted. I stand on that. But what bothers me is that y'all think they got to do the absolute most to get us the fuck up out of here. They don't. They not cloning Jamie Foxx and Gucci Mane and Playboy Cardi and NBA Youngboy to try to kill us. They ain't got to put nothing in the to kill us because they know we can reject it some of y'all do it to yourselves you pop pills smoke drink four to seven days a week some of y'all 25 years old got erectile dysfunction so you drown in honey packs like come on bro if they wanted to kill you they will poison your hennessy bottles and your casamigos your tequilas y'all in the section popping bottles boom everybody in the club pass out on some jim jones type <laughs> think of the government like debo from friday he pulled up what you got on my 40, homie? I want to spend Red's money. He let you know exactly what he was about. That's the government, bro. All your information is in the device. You didn't gave up your information. Y'all doing these face scans to, to have these cool AI pictures to look like a Greek god? Whatever they want to do, they could ruin your life with a press of a button. So it bothers me that y'all really just lack this empathy for real people because you want to try to get ahead of the curve and act like you a genius. You get your news from the shade room, my the only time you got an A in chemistry was on 2K with your mob player when he put up 30 points and 10 assists. So be real, bro. Get back to caring about people. Your conspiracy theories ain't doing nothing, even if you was right. If the government came up and said, yeah, we trying to kill y'all and what? What you going to do? <laughs> Very interesting there towards the end. Oh, let me say this, man. And there is a lot of stuff coming out about uh, LeBronny James and him getting the jab, if y'all know what I mean. <sighs> even if that is the case, I have to agree. Even if that is the case, you can still have condolences. People do want to get ahead of the curve, but that's just the society we live in today. Like I've told you guys before, life is a lot easier. Everybody wants to be famous. Everybody wants to move up in this world and everybody wants to get ahead of the curve. So they can be like, I told you so. And then their one follower will be like, you did. And that's the validation that they live for. Bronny is a human being. So is Tori Kelly. Okay. These people are human beings, and even though they may have taken the jab or whatnot, and this is what's causing all this, it, it doesn't make sense to go after that because, one, we don't know that. We don't know that for sure. And number two is even if it was true, what does it matter? We all make decisions in our lives that can be a fatal mistake. We see this happen everywhere. People, get, people take one last drink. Livers, kidneys fail. Gone. We see people take drugs. One wrong drug. Gone. Right. We see addicts do this all the time. They try one more time and it's all over. But we get mad at people who are just like, well, I believe this might work. So let me take it. And then something happens to them because they have a belief system or they believe that this may help them or may not help them. You know, a lot of our decisions in our life, a lot of us think the same. Right. So just because you're a conservative and you think you shouldn't have got that and that's what caused all this to happen doesn't make you just persons like, oh, my gosh, we got to listen to them. They should run the world. Let them be president. Let them be king of the uh, king over the earth. No, man, we all make decisions and they go right or wrong. I have no idea what really happened to Bronny. I have no idea what really happened to Tory. To me, at the end of the day, as long as we're showing our sympathy for these people because they are human beings. At the end of the day, I have never, it's so crazy how today we are so quick to celebrate the failure of people, right? Even myself, y'all know I make videos on trans people, right? I don't celebrate somebody going through a trans surgery and their life being ruined or them going through a mental breakdown. Even though I talk against it, it doesn't mean I, I'm, I'm like sitting at my bed like, man, I hope it all goes wrong. No, y'all saw me sit here on camera and cry because I know how bad it is for somebody to possibly ruin their life. 
but that doesn't mean I'm standing for joy because somebody makes a decision and it goes left, right? And so that's just how I feel. That's why I try to look up these videos and try to see the humanity in it, humanity in it. Because what we've gotten today is a bunch of people. And like I said, I'm not necessarily against it. I'm fine with people being keyboard warriors. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. But at the same time, when you're a keyboard warrior, you do lack sympathy. You do lack empathy. There are just people who just want to be right so much that they don't care about any human being or anything that they're going through. And I and I try my best not to get that way. I That is the stuff that keeps me up at night is when I scroll and I try my best not to scroll on anything but Twitter, because Twitter, all my stuff is politics and all that kind of stuff. So I do scroll there. But everywhere else, I try to not do that kind of stuff because I start to lose my humanity in people. I do. The more I scroll and the more I see this, the more I see that, the more I start seeing women as objects. I start seeing uh, men who make all these skits and all this funny stuff. I start seeing them as clowns and I just stop. I take the humanity out of it. It's hard for me to see the world as it really is. I start thinking that the world is really just pranks and girls showing their booties. And I, I can't do that. Right. And that's what happens when I start looking at more trans content and stuff like that, because I start seeing those people as unhuman because I keep hearing all my stuff from people in the comment section. I have to go and actually do background and stuff and look into people to keep my humanity. Guys, when you get into this media world and you get really into social media, you've got to protect your humanity and keep looking into people and see that they're human. Because the first thing I saw when I saw the Bronny James thing was up. Oh, he clearly got the jab and that's what happened. Barely people were saying anything. Obviously, people came along, but that's the first thing people wanted to jump to. And then they were like, condolences and all that stuff. But the first thing when they wanted to let you guys know is, oh, my gosh, he did something wrong. He's stupid. He shouldn't. He's an 18-year-old, 19-year-old young man. Give him a break. People are going to make these decisions. Doesn't mean we have to go get on our high horse every time somebody does this stuff as if we're perfect and we're special. I make stupid decisions all the time. I make dumb decisions all the time. I'm not saying that Bronny made a dumb decision. I'm just saying what you may consider a stupid and dumb decision is just crazy to me because we all make these decisions that may end up hindering our lives. He probably didn't make the best informed decision he could have at the time as a young man. We do the same things. And then we may look back on it and be like, I should have done that. Or maybe, oh, that was the cause of it. I made a mistake there. And some people don't get that opportunity. They're gone forever. You know? And I've seen that happen in my life. I'm sure you've seen it in you happen in your life. Somebody makes one wrong decision and they're gone. I'll tell this quick story and I'll be about. I had a friend of mine. We grew up together. Loved the young man. Lived right down the street from me. Great guy. Right? Eventually, at some point, his, he, he just started to lose himself. And as his life could go on, you could just see him starting to separate from people, separate from people, separate from people. And we all tried to help the young man, not me extensively but his you know sisters brothers friends all tried to help him one day he made one wrong decision he got out of a cop car pulled out a gun gone he made a decision and he thought it maybe was the greatest decision. he thought maybe he was doing something right or maybe he just lost his mind that one day but nonetheless he got out of that car reached for his gun he was gone all the decisions he made up to his life we're going great. He had things going. He was working. He was making money. He was providing for his family. A couple slip ups. It's gone, man. And it happens. I could be gone now. You know, when I was doing drugs and everything, one wrong drug. All I have to do is say yes to cocaine one time. Say yes to heroin. I'd be dead. I'm an obese man. My heart wouldn't be able to take those kind of hard drugs, man. Not for long. I do the same thing with my eating. I do the same with my, my health. I have to continue to be diligent because one wrong move and I'm gone. And it can happen to any of us. So let's not be so quick to get on Bronny or Tori Kelly or all these stuff that we're even just consp that we're just assuming, by the way, and saying, oh, they're stupid. They're idiots. They're dumb. He should have. Have some empathy. We all make decisions, especially at a young age. Let it go. Live your life. Continue forward. Goodbye.